Hello everybody, this is Elijah Keating from WisdomSeekers.net, emphasis on the .net. This is my logo, please feel free to reach out and uh, communicate to me about Wisdom Seekers. And this is uh, where my logo is, that's where we Wisdom Seekers will be. There's no, it's not us if we don't have the logo. So this is for air sign uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for June 12, 2024. Three, 23. I'm just ahead of myself. Next, 2024 is going to be a better year, that's why. So I'm ahead of myself. But uh, so the first card we get is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is heading into magic. Leaving the th the third, the energy of the third, the way of the thinking of the third, and it's simply thinking, right? You could have done this 40, 50, 100 years ago if we changed our thinking style. The problem is our thinking was so heavy we walked through it, energy like this. But now we can slide to it a little easier. So it's a little easier for us now, but basically if we could have done it a, th a thousand years ago, we could have done it then too, if we changed how we think. The, th the fourth and the fifth dimension are perspective shifts. But for us to get to that perspective shift, we have to go through dark night, not dark night is our, of the soul, a tower moment. Is it important that we go through the tower moment? Kind of yes, but how, how do you do it? Sometimes you just go, well, I was expecting that, so let's just slide on through. Other times you just sit there and go, oh, does that hurt? Try to try just to allow it to slide on through, but when, when you're mourning or how you're letting go, do that. Just allow your things to move, to stop for a minute and go, that hurt. This is a belief I held dear to me for years and years. No, it's I obviously it doesn't work anymore. So I, it hurts. Allow yourself to say goodbye to it. Allow yourself to mourn it. But recognize right at the right at the beginning, the six of cups, that you're changing your future. You're changing your future into something bright and shiny. I hope. Because it, it's open-ended. If you look at this one, the, the Six of Cups, it's open-ended how you make the future. It can be beige and black. Or it can be bright and shiny with blue skies and, and green grass. And, you know, everything's everything that makes a life a little bit more interesting. Maybe beautiful music. So what it does, again, this is the same of what I've just said, the Strength card is rising above the lower thinking processes the the energy of keeping keeping yourself down and little doesn't matter with you're big and and powerful it doesn't really matter i know we we train ourselves to fit into the mold that people put out for us it doesn't matter we don't need to it, it's more we're not hurting anybody by being who we are and as you get get more and more evolved it, you can't stop the fact that your aura is huge and people notice you i go to a restaurant and people will stare at me through the whole time i'm there just watching me people i will never see again have never seen in the past but they keep staring at me. It's part of becoming a spiritual person. People notice your energy. They notice your the, the, your aura expands. And some people will love you and some people won't. It's not a problem for you to deal with. It's a problem for them to deal with. Mm -hmm. We have become master craftsmen at this. This is the Eight of Pentacles. We have become master craftsmen at at being spiritual, why shouldn't we enjoy it? And uh, this this time, how we deal with this on the twelfth is the King of Cups, which it was was the opposite for today. It was the feminine form, but the King of 
the King of Cups is the ma masculine form of farsight. Go looking for it, be, being proactive. Again, that has to do with the pushing, micromanaging the energy into the male side and micromanaging it into the female side without pushing it too hard. We want to continue to th do that. One of the things that we should know right off the bat, and if we don't, well, it's time you did, the Ace of Wands. And we have a tremendous amount of support coming from the other side. What's cool about that is it is transmutation energy. So when we have this tower moment, it can be quickly transmuted into something beautiful and wonderful. If it's simply that, ah, oh, I was told to move out of this job and go find another job, and I didn't because it was simply easy, then you get fired. You just go, oh, okay let it go. If, if you lose somebody you love, that's a little different. It takes a little bit of time. Allow yourself to mourn. But the outcome of this the outcome card for doing this, allowing yourself to be authentic and large is the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is being very grounded. Again, I'll, every moment of the day you want to be grounded. And if you off, throw off Throw yourself off being grounded. Don't worry about it. Ground to the earth. Ground, ground the way you ground. Breathe deep and allow yourself to, to hook into the earth energy. But at the same time, be proud and happy about yourself. We are allowed. Honestly, we are allowed. It's when it gets to the ego stage that we want to change it out, right? So when it gets to the eagle stage, just put it into the earth and say, thank you, earth. We've, you've got, we've got this. We're partners. All right. Namaste. Namaste. Go. And I love you and you. I do love you.